four inch in front of the torso. Got the Taurus 85 in uh, 38 special. Going to be shooting with the Lee 105 grain semi wad cutter, cast bullet, powder coated, my hand load. I want to see if this load is going to serve me well at uh, extended ranges. So I'm here at 25. It's overcast and these sights look white to me, so it's screwing me up a little bit. Yeah, a lot low and uh, way to the side. These sights aren't going to serve me well, that's the problem. Let's try again. Let's try to be better with the sights. It, I don't think this gun's just, it's just no good with these sights. Well, might as well take a seven yard shot. No sights, and it hit right down there at the bottom again. I'm just gonna have to use the gun with good sights. That's heavy. So I got out the Smith & Wesson 1911 Pro Series in 9mm and I'll be shooting Blazer 115 grain full metal jacket because that's what I got the most of. Again, 25 yards. Okay, that hit right there. So, uh, that's good enough. Now at 50 yards. Okay, it's about the same height, must be coming back down. Now 75 yards. So, that's about as far as I'm going to be able to take it. And I might as well take one at 100 for good measure. I'll aim right above the head. I should have fluffed this dirt up. I, I think I see high hits. So I'm not going to aim above the head. I'm going to aim right where I was before. Because that one round might have been messed up. So. Yep, good. Yeah, that's real good. 125 yards. Okay, it's a higher one, so I got about a hundred yards zero. That's probably what I set it at long ago with this uh, ammo, I bet, so. You know, I uh, missed that one. I tried to go a little bit too fast. I was trying to be kind of slow and hit that target perfectly. I just went to the side of it. I would fumbled with my sights a little bit. I'm going to take one more shot. Right inside that hole. So, 